Hello and welcome to a new episode of my vlog. Now today I'm going to talk about the default mode network. The default mode network is pretty awesome. Well what is it? It's a set of interconnected nodes in our brain that become active when we're not doing anything in particular. Now I could tell you all of the specific brain regions that are involved in it and what their functions are but I hardly understand that myself so if you find that cool check out some further reading links in the description. What I am going to tell you is what the default mode network does and what it has to do with mindfulness. So imagine you're sitting in the bus just staring out of the window. What happens? If you're anything like most people random thoughts will just start popping in and out of your head. You're thinking about your co-worker and what it meant that he smiled in that particular way and whether your reaction was appropriate and how will you approach him in the future. Uh, wasn't dance class fun yesterday? Oh, but I really, I really don't like broccoli, you know? How can people like broccoli? So there it is, these random thoughts into your head. The default mode network is active. What's interesting is that the content of the default mode network can be really different from person to person. For some people the default thoughts are of a quite neutral flavor, but for many people the default mode network serves up endless streams of self-criticism, worries and regrets. So it is really interesting to start investigating the content of your own default mode network. What genre of automatic thoughts come into your mind? Now research shows that we are generally happier if we are engaged with what is happening in the moment rather than being lost in thought. And mindfulness can help in two ways here. The first is by preventing the actual activation of the DMN by focusing on your current experience, for instance your sensory experience or the sensations of breathing. In this case another network in the brain will become active, the task positive network or the TPN. The TPN and the DMN are mutually exclusive. So if your TPN is active, your DMN is inhibited automatically. So the second way mindfulness helps here is by practicing to see the thoughts as occurrences in the mind rather than important things one has to engage with. You don't have to engage with all your crazy thoughts, you know. Stop trying to think yourself out of your misery, it doesn't work. You can just let the thoughts be there and smile at them. Oh, hello, worry. Ah, regret, it's you. Oh, the ruminator, yes. Hello. I am the ruminator. I like bringing you down. Well, I acknowledge you, ruminator. But you don't have power over me. Learning to look at thoughts in this way takes practice. And that's why doing a regular meditation practice is really beneficial. Check out the video in the card above me to learn about how to build a meditation habit. And that's all for today, people. Feel free to like the video. And when you do, just be aware of how the mouse or touchpad feels on your finger when you make a click. That's mindfulness in action. You can also watch some of my other videos. And while you do that, I am going to go. So bye bye and see you next time.